whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Look, I know it's Friday the 13th. I got something way better than slaughtering camp counselors all day. Trust me. Here, check it out. here and welcome to off the shelf air guns i know i know what you're thinking once again we go over budget with the bara 400e i couldn't help myself couldn't help myself sorry <laughs> but this is the bara 400e electric full auto air rifle 0.177 caliber bb this is the tan version, which just recently came out. Okay. And yes, I had to go over budget, of course, because this is a $400 gun. And of course, you got to buy your batteries and your chargers and your mag extra magazines. You're definitely going to want extra magazines. But, uh, man, I couldn't help it. Very well constructed. The weight... I mean, it's all aluminum construction. The weight of it is very much in line with an, your standard AR-15 weight. It's right there with it. Feels real good. Um, stock is adjustable, of course. It's also where your battery goes, back in here. Suppressor is only a faux suppressor. You don't need to worry about that. It's not loud enough to cause any issues. Your sights here, you got two different kinds of sights going on here. All right. Fiber optic right there, fiber optic right there, which you can get a picture on just like so, or they flip up and you can get the uh, peep sight thing going on. Okay. Personally, I think it's fine just like that, especially when you're doing full auto. Um, you're Selector switch is ambidextrous, as you can see. Safe, single fire, full auto. All right, magazine. This is what your magazine is. It's also full metal. And unlike the CO2 powered guns, this one is more along the lines of the weight of a real, a real magazine, okay? Now, I'm going to kick things off with the negatives, because there are some. The negatives are the speed loader. The speed loader it comes with, not that great, man. Not that great. You have to stick it in here like so. All right. And then, see it already jammed up? you got to give it a little, in order to get it to go, you got to, Keep jumping it up and down like that. Okay. I am using the standard Daisy Steel BBs, which are fine, but in these speed loaders, because let's face it, the Crossman DPMS speed loader has the same problem. It's it's the same problem. It's not just this one. It's also the Crossman one. But I've found that if you use the Hornady Black Diamonds or the Crossman Black Widows, goes a lot better still not great but better than the, the regular steel ones you don't want to shoot the copper ones through this and you don't want to shoot any of the dust devils or anything like that through this just just know that right out of the gate don't even attempt it standard steel daisy or the black widows or the hornady black diamonds now also with that said the problem when you're fooling around with that thing is Un unlike the DPMS or those other ones where you can actually hand load the magazine if you have trouble with the speed loader. You cannot do that with this one. All right, you can't hand load with this one. Maybe you could figure out a way, I have no idea, but 
it's not going to be easy, okay? So just know that. You're kind of forced into the using the speed loader, so that's kind of the downfall. Other reason, you want multiple magazines. That way you can load a bunch up and then not have to fool with that thing for at least a few magazines, right? Now, if you already have RC cars or you're into the RC scene, you probably already have batteries laying around your house for this, so you may not even need to buy batteries. But if you do, Barra does have their own charger, okay? They do have their own charger. As you can see here, which you can buy right off their website. And they do sell the batteries as well. And there's your battery, LiPo battery. Okay, and you do want it to be 11.1 volt. All right, that's important. And a 2C or 3C. Definitely uh, don't want to go anywhere else than that. Also, a good thing is to get this little alarm, which also is on Barra's website, to attach to your battery while it's in the gun. That way, if you're running it down, you don't run it down too low. Because if you run it down too low, it could mess things up, and then it won't charge right, and things will just go downhill. This little alarm will let you know that it's getting to that point, and you should stop. As soon as that alarm goes off, stop, take battery, charge it. It's always good to buy multiple batteries, and you know you don't have to worry about it every every time. But I'll tell you, you get a thousand shots minimum per charge of the battery. It's going to be a while before you wear that battery down. Okay, keep that in mind as well. Now, magazine. You do have to give the magazine a little punch to get in there. Charging handle. Charging handle simply is for effect. It doesn't really have any function other than for, you know, when you're training or something, it's perfect. You grab, you know, and that way you know. You can just stay right with your training and practice and all that stuff. Be good to go. But enough of that. I'm going to shut up and take a few shots. Very important. Safety glasses. Safety glasses. You definitely want safety glasses with this because the ricochets are crazy. Oh yeah. Of course, here we go. Let's try for that can. Now, this doesn't have a lock back on last shot, so you kind of have to listen to it to see that it's out. You'll know, you'll, he you'll hear the difference in it, and you'll also see that the little feeder comes out of the top of the magazine when it's out. Throw another magazine in here. Now, let me go set up some cans, some full cans, and see what happens. All right, got some uh, bubbly set up over there. See what happens to the old bubbly. Here we go. Full auto right out of the gate, playing around. awesome there it is the Barra 400e I am a huge fan huge fan of this and uh, one other thing I want to touch on is <clears throat> if you're already into airsoft this is utilizing airsoft technology just it's kind of modified to work with the heavier steel BBs of course this is something I've been dreaming about for a long time like why can't they just do the full auto with the uh, airsoft tech right you know, you're doing the CO2 guns and all that, and they're great. I love those. But this right here, 1,000 shots per battery, consistent. As you can see, it's a little snowy out here. Ain't got to worry about CO2 being cold and not getting the consistency with the feet per second and this and that. Very consistent. Very consistent on the shots. Cold, hot, doesn't matter what it is outside. You're going to get the same result no matter what, which is great. 
Also, comes with a one-year warranty. Can't beat that. If anything goes wrong, you got your one-year warranty. But, good to know that after that warranty expires, you can use AEG parts to maintain and repair this gun if you have to. So, the parts needed to maintain this gun are readily available, easy to find, common. So, you'll have no problem keeping this gun running for many years to come. And the way it's built, it's going to last you many years. Maybe even a lifetime. You're taking care of it the right way. So, yeah. Just my first impressions and first look at this, which I just absolutely love. Yes, I went over budget for it, but I couldn't resist. You're looking at, for the battery, charger, your little alarm, extra magazine, you're going to be over 450 Okay? I know. I know. It's expensive. But, think about this. Just think about it. The initial cost is expensive, yes. But think of all the CO2 that you're not going to be having to buy. Okay? Running through the CO2, you're going to be spending hundreds of dollars down the road as you're going through it, even thousands over the years on CO2, where you're going to save all that money when you get this. You may only have to buy a battery every, you know, few years. Who knows, right? So, yeah. The investment pays off in the end because you're not going to have to sit here and keep buying CO2s. I mean, I can't stress enough how great that is. That's awesome. And so, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's great. Trigger feels great and everything on it. You know, uh, it does have a little punch to it when it's firing, but not like the CO2 guns. The CO2 guns have a little more punch, but... This is up to 400 feet per second. It's around 380, whatever. We are going to do crony tests with this and other tests with this and have some more fun with this down the road. But this is the initial thoughts, impressions. And I think it's super cool. With that said, catch you all down the road.